One thing which was highlighted once again was the fact that he was the main man taking the free kicks. People looked at, for example, Bruno Fernandes and his record for Manchester United and comparing that to Cristiano Ronaldo, who's only scored one free kick out of 73 attempts for Juventus. And you start to question, well, whether or not Ronaldo should be the free kick taker. And the issue I suppose you have there, Jürgen, if you're Fernando Santos, is that you're in a situation where do you really want to be telling your main man that he shouldn't be taking the free kicks? How do you handle that if you're the Portuguese coach? Well, how do you handle it? I think it would be a good question for Alessandro because he <laughs> took all the free kicks and he scored them most of the time. But, um, <laughs> I, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's down to a talk. It's down to a talk. You know, you got to kind of sit him down and, and discuss the whole thing. You know, you know, what's happening with the free kicks? You know, you're not as efficient as you were before. Um, would you mind maybe we switch it around? You know, have a cup of coffee with him and, and go <laughs> talk, talk about it straightforward. I think it's no, no problem if you have a player like him um, and he's, he lives with criticism now, now even more because of how he walked off the field there. Um, and, and those are the things that actually a, a world-class player like him appreciate. They appreciate an honest word from their coach, you know, to say, you know, this is all right and this is not all right. What are we doing about it? And, and it's also important for the coach because you want to have the locker room behind you. You want to have the, the other 20, 25 players behind you. And so they maybe even expect that from you to say, hey, you know, at one point, you know, do we have a word about this kind of free kick situation or, or not? So... Uh, I would just sit him down and have an open talk. Jürgen, I've no clairvoyant, I've no, I've no crystal ball, but I could probably imagine how that talk would go. <laughs> Do you still think you should be taking the free kicks? Yes, I should. OK, all right. Then. Because this is Ronaldo, and I imagine, like any top sportsman, he thinks the next free kick is the one he is going to take. So what will it take for, Nan for Fernando Santos to go against him? No, he's not going against him. He's, he's going to have an open talk with him. So... Very important there is, you know, what words you use <laughs> going into this conversation, you know, right. how, you, how you frame it. May, maybe you have to lay out the espresso first nicely to him. <laughs> maybe he wants a piece, of, uh, a piece of cake, you know, <laughs> and then once he's kind of smiling all over his face, you know, then, then uh, we bring in Alessandro and have Alessandro have a good word with him because he scored all those free kicks. Ah, uh, So, Alessandro, of course, you're one of the best free kick specialists that Italy has ever seen. Ronaldo clearly off the boil here. But I imagine if you were in this sort of funk and struggling, you still want to be the man taking the free kicks because you still have belief in yourself. Yeah, definitely, yes. What is, what is bringing you in the conversation is something, is an honest talk between you and the, eventually the players that are allowed to take that, that free kick. And this is what happened also in my career where, for example, Zidane joined me or, or Pirlo joined me in the team. We, we talk. We don't, need the, we don't even need the coach to be talking about that. We, I mean, as a grown man, you talk about who's going to take it, why, in which moment of the game. I'm more fresh because I'm coming from the bench or no, I'm, I'm, I feel it in that moment. This is the kind of thing that you should do. So if I can add one thing is instead of the coffee, let's bring a chamomile in that conversation. So maybe, you know, everybody, you know, cool down. And I don't want to make a joke of that, but it's, it's a serious point because as you say, as you show on the numbers, this has happened already in the at Juve for, for a long time. It's also true that Ronaldo in the last competition under Portugal is scoring an amazing free kick mm. and winning against Spain. So it's, it's a difficult, but have to be a conversation at, at this point from my point of view. But, Ale, isn't it just a battle of egos? And we know history has told us that Cristiano Ronaldo is very much the king of that. And that, not necessarily a derogative thing, that's what's made him so good. That drive that he's continued to show year in, year out. You can imagine Bruno Fernandes going, oh, shall I take this on him? Going, no. I mean, who say that he's a king? There's a, every player that scores more than 25 free, free kicks say that they are the best. Mm. Numbers don't lie. Numbers doesn't lie, uh, never. And uh, for sure, Cristiano is a guy that can score a lot on the free kick. He's going through a period that is really tough. So that's why um, I'm supporting you and say, OK, let's sit down and talk about that. Maybe we can do one and one in, in some specific moment. Also, you, you have this problem. with We had Pjanic before 
in the years before that was the best uh, scorer on the free kick in, the, in all the Serie A. So they have to talk about that. Now you have Dybala, for example. So you need to discuss with the people that are good in that. Not somebody random, of course, but yeah. somebody that has some kind of numbers that can say, okay, listen, I score at 20, so let's discuss about that. I believe that. Frank? Yeah, I read an article um, about Ronaldo and the fact that he's uh, missing uh, free kicks, but the uh, third goalkeeper of Juventus, I think it's Carlos Pinsolio, uh, just said that every time that he's, he's training on, on free kicks, every, every, uh, after every training session, every shoot, shoot that he, shot that he makes is in goal. And it's a goal every time. So he said he's full of confidence. So he believes that he can do it when he's, uh, he's, um, he's in, in the game. And it's, uh, it's, there is no lack of confidence in Ronaldo's game. And it's why he thinks he can score. So it's hard to say, OK, I'm going to give the ball to somebody else to shoot. That's the main problem. He's extreme. It's how he became maybe the, the goat of, uh, of, uh, of football. It's just because... He believes that he can score every time he has the ball in his, uh, in his feet. So I just have an advice for him. Frankie says, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a copyright. Frank, I'm just, I'm just intrigued. Like, for example, that France side, full of so much experience that you played in, Zidane be the one taking most of the free kicks. If he went through a slump like this, what role would his teammates have in helping decide whether or not he would continue? Well, there is, the, there is the leader. So let's say Zidane was the number one, but Yuri Jokhev uh, could have been the number two and there would have been somebody else. Maybe Laurent Blanc could have been the number three. So I guess the captain, Didier Deschamps, would have come in the middle of the park and say, OK, guys, what do you want to do? Don't start fighting. You know, we have cameras, we have fans, so you be <laughs> diplomatic and uh, try to find a deal. Uh, it's what happened to me when I was at Chelsea and just after Gianfranco Zola signed for Chelsea. And you know that you had to let him go because he's a real specialist. So it's a discussion, as uh, Alessandro said, maybe not even with the, with the coach, but between the players. And, um, and sometimes, you know, the captain maybe has to say, you know what, Zizou, last time you missed, the, the one before you missed, so maybe uh, leave a place, leave a room for Yuri. And that may be a possibility. Is it possible with Ronaldo? I don't know. I'm and not you, sure. And Jürgen, this, this fascinates me, the whole thing of, of letting Can players... Can I say something, Dan? Yeah, of course, Ali. It's not possible because Ronaldo is the captain of the team. So he's not bringing me himself talking about that. Sorry, you think for me here, Dan, is, I, just, I, I, don't think, I don't think we'll ever see Ronaldo not take the free kicks for Portugal. Right. Because on, on the one hand, despite what the numbers say... Ronaldo, for Ronaldo to concede those free kicks, he has to basically admit that he's second best at something. And Cristiano Ronaldo will never, while he's still putting on a pair of football boots, accept that he's second best at anything. So just for, from a pure personality point, he's not going to concede that to Fernando Santos or anybody else. Uh, on the other side, as, as one of the Portuguese players or one of the Juventus players, even as you look at his numbers, as poor as they are, the trade-off for you is, do you let him take the free kick and have Ronaldo at his best self for the other 89 minutes and 45 seconds? Or do you say to him, I'm taking this free kick and have him sulk from then till the end of the game? And the trade-off is, let him have the free kick. We want him at his best for the remainder of the game. So ultimately, nothing's going to change. But, Jürgen, aren't we talking about Ronaldo as if he's a spoiled child? This is someone who wants to win trophies, and him not taking free kicks shouldn't then lead to him sulking in the corner. Well, I think, you know, Ronaldo is Ronaldo, and we're talking about one of the best in the world since the last, you know, in the last 15 years. Um, but nobody is perfect, you know, and now in, in this case, you know, he's not perfect with the execution of his free kicks. But I think Shaka is totally right, you know. I want to get the best Ronaldo possible on the field. And if I'm the national team coach or if I'm uh, the coach of Juventus Turin. So I will do everything to maximize him up to the 100 percent, you know. And if it's only 95 percent, I make sure these 95 percent are, are fine. So, so if it's good for his uh, confidence, for his overall mood, for his energy, that he's just taking those free kicks still, even if maybe Bruno Fernandes in the national team, maybe here and there is better, 
I still let him do that. I still let him do that. So, so I mean, as a, as, a, as a coach, as a manager, one of your main challenges is how do I get the maximum out of my players? Every single individual players. And you have 11 on the field and you have uh, 10 on the bench. You know, and you got to stimulate them. You got to inspire them. And you got to make them happy in, in being really confident going into the game. So, so I would do, obviously, based on what he did over the last 15 years and who he is and how hard he still works. I mean, as, as Frank said, rightfully, so he's out there every day. He's training those free kicks still every day, and he scores most of them in a training session. So right now it's just an issue of focus, maybe concentration, but whatever is the issue. No, he, only he knows probably. But, but I would just uh, support him as much as I can. And, uh, um, and yeah, uh, and take the fact that maybe, you know, instead of the 100%, I get 97, but I'd rather get the 97% uh, instead of kind of getting him down to 80 or 70%. Ali, does that make sense to you? Yes, makes sense. Uh, the, the balance, uh, only the coach can find the balance, first of all. And, uh, and what, what you guys say about Cristiano, that is absolutely one of the best ever in these sports uh, and in scoring uh, and, and, and even free kick. It's, you need to have the same from all the other players. So the balance is between himself and the other players. This is always, this is the fact. Uh, you know, when you are a coach, I believe I'm not a coach anymore. Uh, not yet, sorry. But uh, I believe that is a situation where you need to find the balance to bring from everybody because in some part, part of the game, in most of the part of the game, you need the help of all the other t teammates, also the people that come from the bench. So have everybody excited about that and, and, and going the, to the same path is very, very important. And sometimes the fact that you are taking a step back is, doesn't mean that you are the second choice in the free kick or in the penalties. It's, it's, a, it's also a big responsibility to take that kind of uh, free, free kick and, and penalties. So, and we love him for, uh, about that because he's taking all the time responsibility. He's not scared about that. But sometimes it's good also to involve some other players and to show to the team, hey, guys, I'm here for you guys, not only you know, to take my and responsibility. But does he have, Ali, the capacity to do that? I suppose that's the million-dollar question. <laughs> I think he has this capacity. Yeah, for sure. He has it. It's, it's, sometimes it's a, it's a matter of fact that you need to, to talk, to discuss about some things uh, with your teammates. Frank say a good option, you know. Uh, it was Zidane, Djorkaev, Blanc, Deschamps. Amazing players. And, and we can add on and on in that team that was incredible personality and leaders in, the, their, in their role. So you need to show up. And, and discuss about some things. And, and maybe they did, and they found out, you know what? Cristiano, go ahead. It's your, it's your pick. It's your choice. Uh, and this is what happened, maybe. We don't know. But we are talking about numbers. And, and the last number in the last three years, I'm talking about Juventus, especially mm. not Portugal, are, are quite impressive in, in a negative way. Last point, Frank. Does yeah, he have Dan, the capacity to do that? Yeah. Just, just, uh, Yes, he has. And, uh, you know, one thing, if he uh, give the ball, the next free kick that Portugal is going to, next game they're going to play, if he give the ball to uh, Bruno Fernandes next game, we'll know one thing is that Ronaldo is watching ESPN FC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he will have three. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.